Chris, WahhabiKing.com with a very exciting FPV product that we've got for you today. It's actually the Quantum DIY FPV goggle set. This thing is an amazing product at the price point it's coming at. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about it here in a second. I'll get into some of the specs. Um, uh, it's a FPV goggle set, and it's kind of a, a transition between people that are using monitors and people that are using uh, goggles themselves. But the cool thing is, is that, and I've used both, is that it works great as both. Uh, and uh, I've been using them as my primary set of FPV goggles. I normally fly with a, a, a standard FPV goggle like uh, Fat Sharks or uh, Sky Zones or, or anything like that. And what I found with those is that you get this, uh, this boxed in feel, like you're in a movie theater and you're sitting in the seat and you're looking at the screen and you've got this black border around it. Some movie theaters are obviously bigger than others and that's your field of view depending on the, the goggles that you have. But what I, I noticed with this, with that 4.3 uh, inch screen that's on this and that uh, lens, the way that it, uh, it arcs the screen is that you get a very nice immersive feel uh, with this monitor. I personally uh, like it a lot better. Now, like I mentioned, it's a 4.3 inch monitor. We've got a lens that's right in here, which is focusable. You can adjust it right here to get the right focus on there. And, uh, and you got this ergonomic case. Now, as far as this case is concerned, we designed it to fit uh, most people's faces. But granted, obviously everyone's different. Uh, and so it is molded just out of foam. I've got some case halves right here. And, and it's easy enough that if you uh, aren't uh, liking the way that it fits or you're getting some light intrusion, just use your razor blade, cut it down to fit your face. You've got plenty of focus distance in here that you can cut it down and get it to fit your face uh, absolutely perfect. And it comes with uh, uh, strips of foam that go around the outside to block the light on out. Now, this is the bottom shell. On the top shell, what we've actually did is uh, mold a little top on it. And what that was designed for was a ball cap. So when you're done with these goggles, of course it has straps available on the sides uh, that come in the kit. But on the top, uh, it has a slot right here where you can put a third strap or you can just go ahead and uh, glue that on top of your, your favorite hat. And there you go, you've got a set of, uh, you've got a set of Daft Punk uh, FPV goggles. Um, now, this is a DIY kit. It comes with these parts. You've got to assemble it. It's definitely not a uh, refined finished product like uh, finished FPV uh, goggles would be to have a built-in transmitter. So you do need a transmitter. It doesn't have a head tracker, but at the price point, what this is, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal and you can add those components later if you want as well. Now let me talk about the monitor on this real quick. Uh, a lot of people that are doing DIY uh, goggles are just buying a set of backup uh, rear view monitors uh, off eBay, normally 3.5 to 4.3. The problem is, is that we could not find a single manufacturer that made a non-blue screen version of this. As a matter of fact, uh, the circuitry wasn't even available until you hit 5.5 .5 inch monitors or above. So we had custom built monitors, absolutely non-blue screen. Uh, let's cut to that and I'll go ahead and show you what that means here in a second. All right, we're back. I plugged the uh, DIY FPV uh, goggle set into a, a quick little camera so you guys can go ahead and take a look at what I mean as far as the non-blue screen is concerned. And uh, if you take a look in there, we've got the, uh, the picture uh, up. Now, if I unplug the video signal, instead of jumping to a blue screen, which could obviously cause problems if you're flying and your video signal got a little weak and it was cutting in and out of blue, um, what this one does is just fade to static. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the video and right there you just get a static. Now, Obviously, your video signal as it degrades will be everything in between. It just won't be uh, full static, but you've got that nice transition, so you know it's time to turn around and start heading back uh, closer to your receiver itself. So it is a non-blue screen uh, monitor, and we had that custom built for this set. All right, now let's take a look at the lenses on this. Uh, went ahead and unplugged that. Now, on this frame inside this, we've got a, a lens housing, and in the kit, we include uh, several lenses, actually three lenses and it has different focusing ranges. And what that was really designed for is as you carve and make this fit your face, you need to be able to adjust this uh, focusing uh, range back and forth. We also found different preferences when we were testing it out that some people like the screen uh, beyond the field of view where you kind of almost have to look left and right and some like it more you know inbound where you do still have a border. So we've included uh, three magnification uh, uh, ranges on these and you can go ahead and just play with them and find which one that uh, you like best. Uh, and like I said on the sides, uh, you just have these uh, quick adjustments that allow you to adjust the focus on that so you can uh, find what's best for you. Now the monitor, one other thing I want to point out, does have 4.3 and 6 by 9 aspect ratios. So you can go ahead and dial that into your lens so you don't get any distortion as well uh, there. Uh, that's pretty much everything guys. The price point on this thing is absolutely phenomenal. For the price, you can go ahead and give it a shot as your primary FPV if you've never tried it before, see if it's something you like. 
I personally use it as my primary. You can use it as a ride-along set of goggles for at this price point, which means you split the video signal. Uh, use a, a monitor or goggles yourself and let someone to take a look at these and, and fly along with you, as well as just a great backup set. Especially on those sunny days, it doesn't get uh, any fog issues. It's got enough airflow in there. Um, check it out, guys. It's up on the new items page. And uh, we've got this set up below. We're going to have a quick assembly uh, video on this. So definitely check the video links below. And we're going to do a, a quick five-minute assembly so everyone understands how this goes together and some mods that you can do to it as well. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you next time.